Celtic extend their gap at the top of the Scottish Premiership to five points. Yeah, again, minus five in Glasgow, all that good gimmick and all. But it wasn't without his controversy as Celtic had a goal rightfully allowed straight away as soon as the game kicked off, even though it took them an eternity with VAR to get it right. And then we had two penalties. We had a penalty miss for Palmer and a second penalty miss for Palmer. But we'll get to that all in because we kick off the game. Alistair Johnson, the ball falls to him. He scores, it's a massive deflection, laid law is pretty unlucky here, but anyway, 1-0, but let's talk about the offside, they're pretty much level, and how it takes them 3 minutes to come up with this decision, with VAR, they're pretty much ain't level anymore, it's either you're on or you're off, and I think that's a problem, unless you're doing the exact same body movement, how can you be level, that's my problem with VAR, I think when it comes to offsides, I think there should be a detective thing where it works out, if it's by a certain distance or not. Because I think if it's not by like one millimetre, then that should be level. I mean, look how small millimetres and centimetres are. This is so close. We've seen it in the Rangers-Hibs game midweek now, be it that was at like, what, 3-0 up, so it didn't really matter if Rangers make it four. But the line looked so dodgy there. The line looked so dodgy here. And rightfully this stood. If Celtic got this goal chopped off, it would have been an absolute disgrace. And then pretty much after this, Celtic's arse went very similar to the Rangers game earlier when as soon as Rangers scored, they went to pish. But Celtic scored after like, what, 50 seconds here? So to play the remaining 94 minutes in absolute shite conditions was absolutely depressing. Watch this, but Joe Hart, he was having a disaster today, almost creating numerous assists for Ross County, but the reality is Ross County don't have anyone good. Jordan White, the Rangers man. Well, see if he's a Rangers man, right? He wouldn't have missed a 90th minute opportunity to put the ball in the back of the net, but he did. Simon Murray misses an open net in the first half. Can't be arsed dragging his fat carcass to get on the end of the ball. Uh, can't you dominating well, there? Well, he is 62 rated in FIFA, so I mean... He is, right? Someone was demanding, where have you been the last week? I said you were on night shift. Aye, uh, night shift uh, fucking sucks. Life sucks. And then you die. Ah, As Vince so. McMahon once said, but I don't know if we're allowed to quote Vince McMahon anymore. Anyway. How about we quote Star Scotland 80 instead? Get a Patreon up and running and you guys can donate so I don't have to do night shift anymore. How about that? If you want it, guys, I'll do it. I'll do there it. We'll, we'll all be there. Uh, but Ross County are dominating. I believe by the 20th minute mark, Ross County had like seven corners to Celtics too. Which is quite incredible. I did have over corners in this game, so that was good. The rest of the bet collapsed because of Davey Martindale. Prick. Cal Mack then gets tackled by Simon Murray. It's a dive, but you know what? Simon Murray's touched him and he's went down. It's a dive for Cal Mack, but once there's contact and you go down, they're, they're always going to give it. It's never going to be out overturned. Simon Murray kind of gets in Cal Mack's face, then realises, wait, this is by far the best player in, the, in Hold Scotland. On. Yeah, the best player to ever grace Scotland doesn't dive. Does he not? No. Simon Murray accused him of it. Said you're a fucking diver, then the referee had to split them Look, apart. Look, Simon Murray, like I said, just 62 rated in FIFA. Just Cal, uh, Cal, Cal Mack, 79. Ah, well, there you go. He's, he's clear. He's clear, buddy. Right, he is absolutely clear. Right, he's 79, but they've underrated him by 20. Yeah, so Palmer steps up. Awful penalty. Laid loss saves. Right. And they retake it because he was off his line. And I've only seen it once, but see the angle I've seen? The heel of his boot is on the line. And the, ref, the assistant referee, right, didn't call it back for encroachment or whatever you call it. They actually went to VAR for encroachment. What's the point of the two assistant referees standing on the fucking line watching the goalkeeper if they're going to go to VAR anyway about it? No, no, what is the point? To me, that's ridiculous. His heel's on the line here. Doesn't matter because Palmer misses it anyway, right? But I don't get this. County get a corner. The hander on the line misses it. He miss The header actually near goes out for a throw-in. Ah, Jan Danda, what a guy. Jan Danda, the Handa, jobber. Um, James McFadden, earlier in the Rangers coverage, claimed Dessers was offside from a throw-in. He, he just hates Rangers. You can't even be offside for a throw-in, so what's James McFadden talking? Uh, James McFadden, man, what, I mean, he scored a good goal against France, I'm not going to deny it. Other uh, than that, though, what have you fucking done? Career's been a bit of a failure. You know, you should, if you wanted to play for your... Beloved Celtic, you should have went ahead and done it. But anyway, Palmer fires wide just before half time. The second half was a brutal watch. Kuhn makes his debut. Celtic, the fans are booing, rightfully so. They were shite. They were honestly on the ropes in this second half. White should score. Great ball across. Joe Hart makes an absolute meal of it. It is the it's the most powder puff shot you'll ever see. He almost what drops it to the next Ross County guy. Right I don't see how people can still defend Joe Hart now, man. But you need to. The, the guy's not good enough. 
Yeah, cause there's some people who think, oh no, I love Big Joe. He, he should stay. He he commands the, the the goal. He's a he's a leader. No, he's fucking shit. No, he, pretty much he, every chance Ross County had today, he was at fault. He or he should have saved. He's it a better. liability. The only reason, the only reason he's not, uh, the only reason he's, he he doesn't seem like that much of a liability domestically is because normally these teams don't really create that many chances. But if you look at, see if you look at his uh, like errors to like saves, then it's it's ins- actually insane. Yeah, seems Sims. Get a sim card, he misses a one on one, doesn't even test hard, they round the game off and I just look at both old firms today and yeah, I think a way to St. Mirren one nil looks a bit better than this, but both are average, man. Honestly, I, I have no I, idea. I, I have this. no idea who's gonna win the league. Honestly, I, I, you look at this, Celtic I mean, See as much as Rangers need a striker, Celtic need players. You look at this today and it's like what 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 is happening here? Everyone who was great under Ange is shite. And yeah, well, you know, Celtic uh, Brendan, were on the ropes Brendan, and Rangers let them off again. Well, Brendan Rodgers has to be the one to blame. Uh, uh, if these players, I'm not saying they looked world class, like, but the, these players, a lot of these players in the Celtic team looked like they were beyond the Scottish Premiership. And now a lot of these same players look like they're not good enough to play for Celtic. Part for you, Riley, everyone's got worse. And scales, but he wasn't really there under Ange. I know he was, but he never really played. He was at Aberdeen and shit. Anyway, guys, that's what. Like, we... uh, uh, Johnston looks shite. Yeah, he scored the day. I mean, it was. I mean, yeah, they even Alistair... claim it was his goals a bit. The uh, stretch, but Alistair Johnston looks like a piss right back. I mean, <laughs> fuck you would think he's any better than Ralston at the moment. Uh, Greg Taylor was went went for being great under Ange to just dug me now. I don't think Carter Fickers is really the same, you know? Would you be shocked? We'll make a fair about Chris Sutton later. I'll be uploading it tomorrow because he, he blasted the window. But do you think Celtic are going to make any signings? I think they need to. Rangers are acting. Rangers are actually signing players. Rangers want a striker and a right winger, apparently. On top of the free... say Rangers are signing players. It's too low deals, isn't it? All right, well, loan Dubai. It's confirmed. Bringing in big Jeff Day. Big Lawrence is going to be in the door soon enough. He scored a wonder goal today. Did you see that goal? Hearts man. I uh, have not seen it yet, but I will see Did it. Do you know the Hearts score? Leave Hearts won by three goals to one. Two 0 Ah well. <laughs> Look, night shift, guys. Fucking night shift. That's how obsessed you are with Celtic. You don't even want to fucking know about your own team, so you come into this match with you and me. I'm still half asleep. We talking about. What are you talking about? Anyway, guys, let's wrap this up. Celtic win, but both old firms are pish. So, alright, till next time. Peace.